Gravel's gotten to be really interesting and really visible in the past few years. What's been kind of known as a smaller category has been growing and growing. We wanted something that if you're out on the road and you saw some cool path, some cool trail, that you could take it. The bike itself, the tire wouldn't hold you back. You could just go explore, maybe find some trouble. Feels like mountain biking did back in the 90s where there's a whole lot of discovery going on and people are finding new rides. They're exploring their home areas, but places they didn't ride before. So yeah, it's very much like a mountain biker's road bike. I think that's what's, what's really cool about it is it's not a road bike and it's not an adventure bike. It's something of its own. That really speaks to just the versatility of the platform where it can really cover a lot of needs of that rider, whether it's the distance thing or it's the terrain. The bike can, can pretty much handle anything. We actually began with Boone's geometry, but we knew that the rider looking for a gravel bike wanted a little more stability and a lot more tire clearance. What we've landed on with Checkpoint is a bike that's still maneuverable and fun to ride, but more steady on unsteady surfaces. We realized that there was going to need to be some special features, but that Trek already has a really deep toolbox full of technologies that were gonna really resonate with this customer. Things like ISO speed for shock absorption, Stranglehold for adjustability and the ability to run the bike as a single speed OCLV carbon, the industry's best carbon fiber technology, have full Shimano Grupos. All of them will have hydraulic disc brakes and one of the industry's best gravel tires, the Schwalbe G1 in a 35C. So many mounts, but it was there was a very conscious effort in placing all those mounts. Having talked to a lot of riders, we came out with a, a bike that's pretty versatile in just water bottle spacing and auxiliary mounting locations. We really wanted to maximize the storage capabilities on that bike with all the mounts. Another feature that, that we didn't want to overlook was the fact that this bike is being ridden off-road. With that, you're gonna start seeing a lot more debris being thrown up at your bike. So we decided to investigate carbon armor and so that's why we placed the bit on the down tube and along the chain stays is to protect that frame from rocks being flung up, making a road bike just that more robust and rugged. Gravel demands a broader gear range, so we got the widest range cassette uh, that we could put on these bikes and a compact front chain ring. We incorporated the asymmetrical chain stay and moved the drive side chain stay down in a way it's just a sensible way to make a better tire clearance without over complicating the bike. We've created this bike and it's got so much tech and so much content to it that we really don't want you to get hung up on it. We just want to enable you to get out and have a really great ride. This bike really is that piece that does get me to think about riding as a kid again. And being able to get back to that is pretty awesome.